So let's continue guys on the question number 14. So let's read the problem. The components of force F acting along line AA is required to be 30 pounds. Determine the magnitude of force and its components along line BB. Now guys, this time what we need to find is the value of our force and the value of one of its component on line BB. So before that guys, let us plot our forces on our axis AA and BB. So this is now our force guys on our AA and BB axis. Now let's draw its components guys acting along AA and BB. First let's draw its components acting along line BB. So it will look like this one guys. And let's draw its components acting along line AA. So this is what it will look like. So we can call this one guys as our force A since it is along on our AA axis and this one as our force B. Now guys in the question the components acting along line AA is required to be 30 pounds. So this one the force A is already has its value that is 30 pounds. What is asked guys is the val magnitude of our force and the magnitude of our force B. Since our force B is the component along line BB. So now guys let's draw the parallel line so that we can now form our parallelogram. Since we will be solving this one using parallelogram law. So from the tip of our force A, let's draw a parallel line of the force B. So since this is parallel to the force B, this is also force B. And from the tip of our force B, let us draw a parallel line of the force A. So since this is parallel to our force A, this must also be 30 pounds. Now guys, the line F divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So we can use either of the two guys in solving the value. So let's just use this top triangle guys to solve for our force and force B. So let's draw that again guys. So this is just a copy guys of our triangle which is this one. So let's copy its values. This is 80 degrees. This is the line force. This is our force B. And this is 30 pounds. Now guys, let's look back at our parallelogram to identify the interior angles. So by looking at this one right here guys, the properties of a parallelogram, alternate interior angles are equal. So this angle right here and this angle right here is an alternate interior angles. So this must also be 60 degrees. And this angle right here is an alternate interior angle of this angle so this must also be 80 degrees so guys so this is 60 degrees and we can copy the values right here so that is 60 degrees now guys in getting the value of our angle right here guys the total interior angles of a triangle guys is 180 degrees and let's just name this one right here guys as our angle C. So in getting the value of our angle C, let's just subtract the 60 and 80. So 180 minus 60 minus 80, that is 40 degrees. So angle C guys is 40 degrees. Now guys, let's first get the value of our force B. So let's find its magnitude. And we can use the law of sine. So, force B over its opposite angle that is 60 degrees, so sine 60 is equals to 30 pounds over sine 80. So, force B is equals to sine 60 multiplied by 30 over sine 80. So, the value of our force B is equals to 26.382 pounds so that is how we can get guys the value of the force B or the components acting along BB now let's get the value of our F this one and we can again use the law of sine 
so guys f over its opposite angle that is 40 degrees so sine 40 is equals to 30 pounds over sine 80 so f is equals to sine 40 multiplied by 30 over sine sine 80 and the value of our f is equals to 19.581 pounds and that is how we can get guys the magnitude of our f